Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And welcome to the unofficial fourth season of 30 Nights of Fright. We are doing things slightly different this year because your girl is lazy and uninspired and my Halloween series, as much as I love it, it stresses me out. I legit applaud daily YouTubers because like, it's a lot. We're just gonna be doing like random Halloween videos, not 13 not 13 videos okay but today we're gonna be talking about some of the scariest to me emphasize me horror movies that I have seen y'all know good and well I don't like scary movies if you're new I don't like scary movies and you're probably like Stephanie look at your setup look what you're wearing you're talking about horror movies I know I know but you know what curiosity curiosity is gonna kill this cat one day because I'm gonna end up having a heart attack you watching this damn scary movies but you know what it wasn't until like one movie wait please tell me i have that movie on here yes i have that movie on here because i had to have it on here that move this one movie really really i think like did a number on me and i was just like no i can't do it anymore some of these are like when i was younger like little and i'm like the middle child i have two older sisters so i did watch a lot of scary movies growing up because they love scary movies i have i don't even know how many movies i have we're just gonna like hopefully there's an even number because otherwise my OCD is going to like if it happens to be an on number I may end up removing one of these honorable mention that's what's going to be if there's an on number there's an honorable mention before I go into this even more long intro is that new no yeah not be scary even though we're talking about these I am too scared to relive some of these things and even though it's just to get a poster because yeah, I know I usually always put a poster here for y'all <laughs> yes no we're not doing that today for the rest of the Halloween deal, any kind of scary movie, when I tell you, I really hope you know which movie I'm talking about. Because I'm not putting no posters. <gasps> oh my god, yeah, let me tell you. Just random. <laughs> for this month's book club, um, for the horror book, it's probably the scariest book. I didn't even finish it. Six chapters in, I said, I can't do it. I was like, okay, I can do this. Totally forgot that visualization is going to happen in my head and what's happening in here worse than what I'm seeing on screen I didn't fully think that through but anyway it goes to what's in my book pick okay so it was just generally we were all supposed to read it okay so then I started listening to it and then I got like in there and like right off the bat it started off pretty creepy and I said oh my god and then like I, I, I listened to it some more and we got up to the six chapters and then like barely barely on uh, like some creepy shit was happening okay and then I was just like I can't do this can't do this so I went on the group chat I said yeah this book is really scary like it's really messy with me like I don't know like I'm legit like scared what I tell y'all I was too scared to walk down the damn hallway to go pee that's how scared I was I said no that that's enough story time enough intro let's get into the list Un like no order I just started writing them down as they were coming into my head so then that's how we're gonna go okay yeah I heard something and I got scared after talking about that book on with the list these are some of the scariest movies that i have seen maybe not super scary to you but for one reason or another they scare me okay they stuck with me some some of these some of these affect my everyday life and we'll get to it i think it's just one maybe two okay so first off identity you yeah, remember identity john cusack yeah i don't even remember what year it came out i have no information for you you have to figure it out you know what identity didn't have a scary poster if i know for a fact that it doesn't have a scary poster i'll put it up here okay identity i watched this movie a lot back in the day i did this was before i was like really super scary and i really really liked it but it had some really creepy fact you know who was creepy that kid that kid was creepy and i knew he was trouble from the beginning yeah no little kids when it comes to little kids especially when they're girls i and if there's like older people like old people i don't like it either because i don't trust you either because there's something about you okay and then of course possessions and everything like that but yeah um i did watch it a lot but it would always creep me out and that little kid especially it's like a like a surprise favorite but it had like some creepy things to it that really creeped me out but i think out of everything in my list this is probably the only one that that i really really liked that I wasn't like super scared but I was scary so we're gonna start off with that okay I don't know why it just popped into my head and I said it's going on the list so am I cheating with this one maybe honorable mention there we go honorable mention because I just wanted to I, I don't hear about it as much anymore 
We need to bring this movie back to life, okay? All right, next up, the Skeleton Key. Y'all, this movie, ah, voodoo. I don't like that voodoo either, y'all. Mm, I don't like it. Okay, so this movie, because it's voodoo stuff or hoodoo or whatever the hoodoo it is, there's like chanting, there's possessions. Oh, child, I think you do believe it. And that's the OG it. <laughs> okay, so like, because I saw that movie, like, I was afraid of clowns. And let me tell ya, let me tell ya. Okay, it was like, picture it. Thanksgiving. 19, I don't know, because I was little. I was trying to channel my inner Sophia. It was raining outside. My sister was making the pie. And she said, hey, I forgot a crust or something, I think. I can't remember. Go to Max down the street, which is, was a grocery store that was it was no longer there, okay? It was raining. What was playing? It. It was playing. Why was it on Thanksgiving? Why? Why? I don't know. Why was there I watching it? Yo no sé tampoco, okay? But anywho, my sister said go. And I said no, it is raining. Pretty much gonna get me. And she said go. You know how many like drainage things there are on the main street? And it was raining like in the movie I was the kid I don't remember his name but I was like running over because I was like he's gonna get me moving on Coraline oh I have a review on Coraline actually I saw this one for the first time barely like two years ago I think it was part of my 13 nights of fright how oh, is this a children's movie I do not know because like when I tell you I watched it at night who is she I don't know I said it's a cartoon it's an animated film it is stop-motion this ain't gonna be scary people love this this shit is fucking scary okay like the whole time I was there I said <laughs> demons too I'm not gonna lie I don't remember this one but like if I recall Oh my god, like, I'm, I'm seeing it! The girl was watching a movie, right? And she's like, you know, as you were when you were a kid. But she wasn't even a kid. And there was like some demons in the TV. And I'm seeing it in my mind because I'm trying to remember to tell you. But at the same time, I'm like trying not to remember it. But the demon comes out of the TV. Oh, like it gets her. That's scary. It's scary just seeing it. So we're going to move on. But that, like, I'm seeing it in my head. I was trying to remember. I feel like there was like a... Yes, okay, okay. Wait, was that it? Was that the movie? Okay, let me tell you a funny movie. Not a funny movie, it's a funny story, okay? Because if I have a funny thing, I'm gonna tell you, okay? Picture it. 1990 something. <laughs> I remember it was my sister, Edith, uh, my cousin Yvonne, and myself. And that's where my cousin used to live with us. And then I think a family friend was having a garage sale outside so we shouldn't have been watching movies like this right i think my cousin was like oh we should watch this movie okay we were like in the living room this was like in our old house and we had like a, a door it was like the living room and there was like a hallway to lead into the rooms and then there was like another door to lead into the dining room to the kitchen but the one to the rooms we ended up closing it because we're like oh let's just close it so that way we're like more close together. I don't know. So that way we don't like see anything like walking down the hallway or whatever. Okay. <laughs> but we're like we gotta watch this. But we have to also keep an eye out for my mom not to get there. Because we're like if she's just watching this. She's gonna she's she's gonna get mad. Like because we're watching like this demonic movie. And then we hear the front door trying to open up. So we thought it was my mom. <laughs> and we just took off running. And my sister <laughs> came run. She couldn't open it. And she flew from her glasses. And then she blamed my cousin. We're gonna move on. And I'm before Elm Street. Freddy Krueger scares the bejesus out of me. Okay, because he gets you in your dreams. In your dreams. Then we have the grudge. Look, you know when you close your eyes and you're in the shower, you always feel like something's gonna get you. And then like something's coming out of your hair. I mean, not like in your hair, but like there's something coming out. It's like it's creepy. It is creepy, y'all. Ah. Then, of course, we're gonna get pretty close to grudge. And then we got the ring. Seven days. There's another thing coming out of the TV. Mm. I'll smack some more back up in there. No, 
back down that well. No. Okay, we're gonna be scared of her too because then she like at least gives you like notice. So you have seven days to kind of get your affairs into place and then she's gonna like er, then this next one y'all. I don't remember the movie, but I know the movie, but I don't remember it. Dos. And you're like, what is this, Stephanie? It's like an 80s movie or like 70s movie. And I remember. I remember there was some creepy little like porcelain little creepy. I don't really like dolls either. Like porcelain dolls, I've never liked them. They're so creepy. When I tell you somebody gave me like this big old like porcelain doll for my quinceanera like instead of like the small ones it was a big and yeah i was short and it was on a box the doll was almost my size because i was so short okay but when i tell you that doll was in the in my closet because i was afraid of it because it was a beautiful doll but i was afraid of it and then my sister has her doll for her quinceanera like she still has it and i'd be like i don't like that doll like i, I had to house sit it for her once and i had to have the doll because i was like nope and the doll was like by the like like it could see you while you were asleep and i don't like anywho i were always like the one thing that i remember about this movie is that the, the, the the dolls were like grabbed a girl and like were banging her head up against the wall yeah like i feel things on me now <laughs> i feel things on me i don't like it <gasps> stigmata yeah because that's demonic y'all I remember that movie that one was scary I remember having to look away oh maybe let me not think about it too much because like I feel like I'm getting like all these bad negative like juju vibes in my head and I don't like it this is why I don't like scary stuff because like they be coming up in there and it's try to take over so now I gotta get like Jesus to come in here and like take all that bad juju away okay so the next one this is what really like I feel did it for me paranormal activity <sighs> because I was definitely one of those that was like oh my god this is real this is like found footage I was definitely one that believed it when I tell y'all I think it was part three was it part three I don't know but this was when we were going to screenings I don't think I'm gonna be so brave and I'm gonna go see this scary movie in the theater okay I said I'm gonna do it when I tell y'all I just about cried like legit cried like I was literally like holding on to my mom and I had my face like this like in her and then my mom was laughing and she's just like go home and i'm like do you think i'm about to go home after i've gone on and seen like half this movie maybe you only saw about 20 minutes and i'm like terrified you think i'm gonna go home to an empty house by my lonesome self after i saw this <laughs> excuse you no then we have uh, the exorcist of emily rose why do i keep watching these exorcist movies i don't know this movie told me about three o'clock okay I said, when I gotta pee, and I look at the time, and it's like 2.59, and I'm like, do I risk it? Do I risk it? And if it happens to be anywhere around the 3 o'clock time, I may not be asleep for the next hour as I'm trying to hold in my TT. But I will wait till 4 o'clock hits to try to get up and use the bathroom. Unless I'm like really, really sleepy and I just don't look at the clock. I try not to look at the clock now because that way I don't know. Because if I don't know, it doesn't get me, right? You don't know, you don't know. I'm seeing it in my mind again, so we're going to move on. We're going to move on, okay? The fourth kind, y'all. Okay, there's another one that I thought was real. It was scary. It was scary. Okay, like aliens? Abductions? And like, ugh, I felt something. And you're gonna tell me that wasn't real? And then we're like, oh, it's like creepy, y'all. Oh, I totally forgot what the Exorcist of Emily Rose. Of course, the Exorcist, cause like, it's the Exorcist. But the Emily Rose one, I think creeped me out more because of that whole three o'clock thing. And the other one didn't have that. Devil. Ah! Yeah, I remember that movie too. Okay, generally not super scary, but this is another one that just affects my everyday life. I want don't I'm kind of like little claustrophobic if I'm in an elevator with multiple people I'm like legit holding my breath when I tell y'all when I tell y'all if I am in the elevator with an old lady my breath I'm like you're the devil lady you is the devil she might be the sweetest kindest little old lady there is but I look at her and I'm just like I know I know what's hiding beneath all that mask. You trying to get me. You, you ain't gonna get me. Okay, so like legit, you think I'm playing, but I got it for real. 
Like, if you know me, you know I'm for real, for real. <laughs> okay, because I be like, staring like that. Okay, because of this movie. This movie made me question and, like, um, not really question, like, have no faith in, like, little old ladies. And then, of course, we have Insidious, because, like, Insidious, quite honest, oh, my earring just fell. Hold up. So, this one and The Conjuring, y'all. Um, low key, I've only seen seen them one time. I used to host a Fright Night annually for about 10 years. Kind of where like my whole Fright Night, 13 Nights of Fright came from. Conjuring and Insidious were one of the movies that we had for that. And it was always a lot of fun. Everybody always liked to come. Would come, come in your PJs, bring your lawn chairs, and we would, you know, we have snacks and everything. It was a lot of fun. I really, really loved it. I watched it like this. I watched it over my blanket. I don't remember a lot of it and I don't want to remember anything. I just know the general vibes that I got from it was very, very, very scary. So these are like, I guess, honorable mentions because like, I don't know if it should count. Cause I honestly didn't fully watch them completely. I heard a lot of things and I felt a lot of things. So because this is some of my scariest things, it goes in here. And lastly, we got Megan is missing. Yeah, for starters, don't watch this movie. It's terrible. It is a terrible. No, like for real. It's a terrible movie. Okay. I ended up watching this movie because Desiree was like, have you seen this movie? It's been on TikTok. And talking about one of the most disturbing movies there is. I said, sure, let's watch it. I can remember she had watched it already or... <sighs> Did she really rewatch this movie? It's so bad, y'all. It's really, really bad. But it has a lot of disturbing things. Like a girl in a barrel after she got killed. But yeah, this is like my list in no official order. Again, it was just kind of like how I wrote them down as they came into my head and how some of them just kind of randomly came out. Along with like some fun little stories that were attached with some of them. Because I was like, let me, let me show, let me share that with you guys. Uh, but yeah, these are some of the movies that I myself have found to be some of the scariest ones that I've seen. I know you guys probably don't agree. It's totally fine because everybody is different. Yeah, I gotta remember, I am chicken shit. And I don't like scary movies. That's why a lot of these movies are like more older movies compared to like nothing new because I don't watch nothing. Share with me what are some of your scariest movies? Don't, don't share them with me because like I don't want to watch. <laughs> Which one did you guys maybe think was the creepiest ones? Or do you agree with me? If you don't like it again, it's fine. It's fine because like my list, it's like, it's my list y'all. <laughs> if you haven't already, don't forget to give this video a like comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And this is like the beginning of the unofficial 13 Nights of Fright. I'm not exactly sure like when I'm gonna upload this video to be honest with you because I'm still gonna kind of consider it my 13 nights but we're not doing consecutive nights. So I guess maybe I should probably wait till like day like 13 and then like the other ones can kind of be like from there on. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where like it takes us the vibe okay let me go pray because this movies are like i got scared to keep trying to touch my water bottle oh my god i definitely like jesus right now in my life okay y'all um that is it for me today until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye